Welcome to our tutorial. You're learning with Mo Jones, IT professional and educator. In this tutorial, I'll answer a question that comes up when I'm teaching Microsoft Word classes. And that's how we can have different page headers in a document. So let's go ahead and cover that. Here's my document. I do want to separate this document into a few different pages here. And I do want to go ahead and insert a header. So the first thing I'll do is click on the insert tab and I'll click on a header here. I'll go for a blank header and I will just type section breaks in here. I'll go ahead and center align this content. Click on the home tab and center it. And there you go. I'll go ahead and close the header and footer. And so here we go. Well, look what happens when I insert a page break. So I do want to push this content down to the, the top of the next page. So I'll go ahead and insert a page break. I can click on the insert tab and just click on page break here. You can also just press control plus return. So we can see here is page two and we can see page two has the same header, right? So section breaks. Well, if I double click inside of the header, I can see the key to having a different header is to be able to activate this link to previous icon here. So here's that link to previous icon. So right now, basically this header is based on the previous header or from page one in this instance. So as I continue to add insert pages, this we're going to have the same header in here. So the only way that I can kind of activate this grayed out option here is if I were to turn insert or include what's called a section break. Section breaks can be found on the layout tab. So I'm going to do a redo here. I'm going to close the header and footer. I'm going to undo that page break. And I'm going to insert a next page page break. If I click on the layout tab, I first want to place my cursor where I want to insert the the next page section break. If I click on the layout tab, here I have breaks and down at the bottom, so we have page breaks up here, that's not what we want. We want to insert a next page section break. There's a lot of benefits of inserting a next page section break, but we'll keep it simple. We'll focus on how we can have different headers and even footers for that as well. So right now you can see that I am on page one, section one. I'm going to insert a next page section break, right? As a matter of fact, I'll just add a little line right here and I'll go ahead and insert a next page section break. So here's my next page section break. And you can see we're, we're inheriting the same header from page one. If I double click now, there we go. We can see that link to previous is now activated. So now what I can do is I can uncheck it. I'll go ahead and uncheck it. So I'm breaking the link from the first header. And now I can go ahead and put in my own information. So this one will be about continuous. Section breaks, right? So let's see what happens. If I scroll back up to the top, let's see if that is has changed it. And we can see no, we can see on page one, section one, we have our own header there. So here's page one, section one. And if I scroll down to page two, we have our own different header in here. So that is the actual key. You need to insert section breaks and then go ahead and break the link to the previous uh, header. And then you can go ahead and add your own header in there as well. Well, let's take it a step further. Let's go ahead and see if I were to insert another next page section break. So right now, this is just one section. So if I were to insert a just a page break in here, we can see it's continuing from the header above, right? So continuous section breaks. So page two, section two, and this is also page three, uh, section two as well. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. So if I want to have a different header on page three, which I do, I want this to be even odd page break. I'll just copy this text right now, make it simpler. So 
I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. And I'm going to insert my, so again, layout tab, breaks, next page section break. Move it up just a little bit here. And if I double click in the header, again, I can, I can break that link to the previous header. And I'll go ahead and just put this detail in here. But I don't want it to have the, the style in there. So I'll just go ahead and clear this detail. I'll go ahead and center this one. And I'm good to go. So three sections, three pages, all having different headers. The same applies for the footers. If you insert a footer, you'll still see that same um, link to previous option there that you can uncheck. I'll go ahead and close my header and footer. And let's do a quick recap here. So I'll turn on my navigation pane for this one. Okay, so here is page one. We can see it has section breaks, page two has continuous section breaks, and page three, we have even odd page breaks as well. So again, the key is to insert next page section breaks, break the link to the previous header or section, and then you can manually um, change your actual header there as well. If I wanted to, I can go ahead and insert an existing header, or in this case, you can just go ahead and type your own. So that's it. That's how we can do it. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you found it to be helpful, please go ahead and like, subscribe, and share as well. Until next time.